Hi, I'm Larry and I'm here with a first look at the Sony Tablet S. It's an Android honeycomb-based tablet computer with a dual-core 1 GHz processor, a 9.4 inch, and by the way that's 1280 by 800 touchscreen display. It's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, an SD card slot, a front and rear facing camera. It's available in a 16 gig or a 32 gig version. Now, that's a list of the bullet point features that people will want to know about, but because it's an Android based tablet and because it's from the folks at Sony, people are going to be expecting an impressive entertainment product and you know they won't be disappointed. Of course, this tablet is loaded with things that you would expect from any Android tablet. Access to the Android Marketplace, Flash for video and things like that, but it's also packed with the entertainment features that Sony fans have come to know and love. That infrared port I mentioned earlier, that has the ability to act as a universal remote control for your entire entertainment system. Tons of remote control functions are already built in. And keep in mind, the infrared signal from this tablet is compatible with systems from all manufacturers, not just Sony. Plus, Sony has preloaded the Sony Tablet S with PlayStation games and you can download even more PlayStation 1 and PlayStation Portable games via the internet. If you already own any DLNA compatible equipment attached to your network, the Sony Tablet S can instantly share pictures, audio, and video files directly with those devices. One of the first things that struck me about this tablet is the form factor. It's got a bit of a wedge shape to it, so it sits really nicely on the desktop. But it's also got a rounded edge here, and that gives it a really natural feel when you're holding the device. The back even has a little bit of a carbon fiber texture, and it looks and feels high tech. Now the body is plastic and the tech specs say that it weighs 1.4 ounces less than an iPad 2, but I think because of the ergonomics, it feels like it weighs even less than that. If you're one of those people that has a bunch of remote controls laying around your family room, you're going to love one of the key functions of this device. It's a trainable universal remote control that allows you to control Sony and non-Sony TVs, Blu-ray players, stereos, and cable boxes, and it uses touch screen presses and sliding gestures. And if you're into entertainment, you're going to really love how Sony has this tablet set up right out of the box. It comes loaded with Sony's entertainment pack, and that includes two PlayStation certified games, a six month membership to Sony Music Unlimited, a free movie from Sony Video Unlimited, a free book from the Sony Reader Store, and by the way, there are already over two million titles in the Reader Store. Plus, you'll have access to free movies and TV shows from Crackle until November 15th and exclusive access to the official Foursquare Android app until October 31st. If you already have a Google account, the Sony Tablet S makes it really easy to access that Google account and it retains your Google contacts and your Google calendar information even when you're not online. Accessing the local Wi-Fi network here in my office was a breeze. Surfing the web? With the Tab browser, it felt really natural. With Flash already installed, the web experience is just exactly what you'd expect from a tablet computer with Flash already installed. Although we've only had hands-on with this tablet for just a few hours, I did notice a few interesting things. I spent a little time playing with the forward-facing 5-megapixel camera, and I've got to say it's got a surprising number of features already built into the software. For example, it has a plus or minus 2 f-stop exposure compensation, it has several scene modes, plus white balance options, several focus modes. It can add GPS coordinates to your images as you shoot them. And it even has an 8x zoom. And besides all these bells and whistles, I was pleasantly surprised by the sharpness of the images and the overall image quality. There's just a slight lag time, one to two seconds, from the time you press the shutter button until the camera locks focus and captures the final image. One other note, the truest, sharpest focus happens then when you're taking a picture when it locks focus. And of course, it's got a video record function as well. And one of the really cool options in the video camera section of the software is time-lapse photography. So you could set the tablet up on a stand and have it capture one shot every second, every second and a half, every two seconds, etc., on up to 10 seconds apart. And the video section itself is kind of cool because it has three different quality settings high quality, low quality, and YouTube ready video. For many of the home screens on the device, it's nice to have one touch access to a bunch of different things like one touch access to Google, the web, your email, remote control mode, 
and a microphone icon, and this is really cool. You can touch the microphone icon and through speech recognition, with a brief phrase, it'll immediately turn that into a Google search. I was actually surprised at how accurate the Google search was. The screen seems really sharp, and Sony says that it has an LED lit true black display, and they say that offers deeper blacks for a more vibrant entertainment experience. I would definitely agree that the subtleties in the blacks and the darker colors do seem really rich. Oh, and one more thing I happen to think is kind of nice. We didn't have a manual during this hands-on review time, and I found the device really intuitive and very easy to use. A couple of other things which were sent our way as part of this initial review are the optional cradle station, and that acts as both a charger and stand, and a carrying case. Both these accessories are available separately. It's a honeycomb-based Android tablet packed with entertainment features and cool extras from the folks at Sony. With the brand new Sony Tablet S, I'm Larry Becker.